Week 12 of the NFL ends with Monday Night Football between the Seattle Seahawks and the Washington football team. We break down the game, give you our best bet, and it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandSandBetters.com, and week 12 of the NFL season is just about in the books, but we do have a Monday night football pick for you all. Before we get into that pick and our prediction, just a reminder, if you're new to Grandstand Betters, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our NFL picks and predictions all season long. While you're at it, smash that like button for another great weekend of football. Ohio State went down. Bama was taken to overtime. Just absolute chaos in college football. But without further ado, let's dive in to our Monday night football matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Washington football team. The Seahawks are a one-point favorite in this one with the over-under set at 46.5. On paper, this matchup may have looked good uh, for a Monday night football game for Week 12, but both these teams' seasons are essentially over already. Uh, Although Washington football team may have an outside chance at making the playoffs, but the Seahawks are sitting at 3-7 in last place in the NFC West. To be fair to the Seahawks, Russell Wilson didn't play for about three and a half games this year, uh, but Geno Smith actually did play well in his absence. The biggest problem, though, for the Seahawks this year has been the injuries. And again, this week they are plagued with more injuries. They're going to be without basically a running back here. And they're going to have to start a third-string offensive lineman in this game. Uh, Seattle last week embarrassed at home. 23-13 by Colt McCoy and the Arizona Cardinals. The Seattle offense has not been good since Russell Wilson has come back from that finger injury. Now, the Seahawks only have scored one touchdown in the last two weeks. Uh, If you really want to sum up Wilson's season with him being out for a little bit of time, uh, he does have 10 touchdowns on the year and has protected the ball very well. Uh, He has Lockett and Metcalf. They're the only two bright spots of the Seahawks offense, having combined for 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns on the season. If you look, though, at Washington's secondary this season, uh, you would see that they are fifth worst passing defense in the league, giving up 270 yards per game through the air. However, that is a bit misleading. Lately, they have turned things around. They are in the top 10 of passing defense in the NFL over the last three games, giving up less than 200 yards per game. So we really don't expect Wilson and this passing offense to have much of a day against them. Uh and the football team. If they continue to play well in their secondary, it's going to be tough passing the ball for Wilson and company. Now, we won't even talk about the Seahawks rushing game. They have no one. Alex Collins is going to be in the backfield. He's going to be facing a great rushing defense in Washington who keeps teams under 100 yards per game on the ground. The only way Collins will pop off in this one is if they can hit Metcalf maybe and lock it deep early on down the field, maybe get those linebackers to back off a bit. But Washington football team, they're coming into this matchup four and six in third place in the NFC East, but they have won two straight. We did mention they do have an outside chance at the playoffs and uh, they will most likely not make the playoffs um, and it's going to be probably another disappointing season, but there have been some bright spots. One player that has played well for this team uh, this year is Taylor Heineke. This guy, 2,300 yards passing, 15 touchdowns to go with another couple hundred rushing yards that he has and a touchdown on the ground as well. One downfall, though, of Heineke is he does have a tendency to turn over the ball. For the last two weeks, uh, both of which were wins, he's thrown four touchdowns and zero interceptions. So if he doesn't throw those interceptions, this team does perform well. The football team has a very interesting offensive scheme, uh, but one that is extremely balanced. They ask Antonio Gibson to go out, set that tone early, rushing the ball, and then intermix uh, McLaurin and McKissick into a deep and short passing game. McLaurin is really the go-to receiver who actually has double the receiving yards of the next person, who's actually the running back McKissick. This Washington passing offense should be able to move the ball down the field very well against a depleted Seahawks secondary, one that is third worst in the NFL, giving up 280 yards per game. If you add in Heineke's ability to scramble and Antonio Gibson's averaging four yards a carry against a bottom third rushing defense in the Seahawks, this one could get out of hand very quickly for Seattle. So who are we betting this Monday night? 
Well, in all honesty, it's very hard for us to go against Russell Wilson with still two of the better wideout duos in the NFL. But when you really dive into this matchup, the way Washington's playing and on their defensive side of the ball uh, the last three games, it's hard to argue a reason with the very injured Seahawks team um, on them upending this football team on Monday Night Football. So with our Monday Night Football pick, we're going to take the Washington football team plus one. Now, we will be doing a live stream of this on Monday night, so go ahead, come on over to our channel, join us for that live stream at 8, 10 p.m. Eastern time as we do some play-by-play -play and have our live betcast. Also, if you're looking for a daily pick, join our Patreon, only $6.99 a month. Help support our channel and keep it ad-free. You can check out the link down in the description below. And also, head on over to GrandstandBetters.com, become part of our family, and start living that Grandstand life. But, as always, that does it for us here at Grandstand Betters. Sit back, relax, get ready for Monday Night Football, and we'll see you live at kickoff.